What is up, people? Welcome back to another episode of Omni Factory. I hope everybody's doing all right. I'm doing pretty good. And uh, I think there's a little bit of a recap to do, uh, simply because it's been a little bit of a while. And in the stream, we did a couple of things, like you can see over here. There's a tiny bit more of these. And also, I need to talk about this here and this below. So, this was supposed to do, and I used the word suppose, to do all of these items by themselves. But as it turns out, it's kind of not doing it. Some of them, like this one here, is not able to do it for some reason. But if we do primitive and we do next, oh, there is something that is not being made. So I think I would need to re-add this thing at the top and maybe it would fix. I think I've got a wire... Uh, wire mill. So yeah, maybe I just need to add this recipe and everything's gonna start running again. But yeah, I kind of figured out that like these things at the bottom are kind of not really working. Um, over here though, these here are working. Um, so over here, as you can barely see, there was something that happened. Uh, okay, so let's go at the bottom. And over here, I'm putting magnesium dust. And as you can see, it's uh, putting a little bit of things here. So yeah, so what's happening is this thing is making titanium. And uh, in my system, I do have 8,001 titanium. I also got like a bunch of these, uh, which you can probably determine where they're gonna go. But yeah, so this thing here is pretty nice. Uh, I didn't know there was just like one craft. So let, let's maybe uh, just grab, it was fine wire tin, fine tin, fine tin wire. So that was the one. Uh, I do believe we need to go that way. So let's do uh, this, boom. I'm pretty sure we've got the craft for the wire already. So yeah, it's right here. So if we put that there, this thing should start crafting again. Maybe. <laughs> I think it should. I'm not sure it will. But it's kind of the only thing that was missing. So yeah, I'm not sure. But yeah, pretty much she was supposed to make this, so I'll, I'll figure out why uh, this thing's not really working. But over here, as you can see, it's also making like Lumium and uh, Signalum. Uh, I'm not sure why it's not actually making Lumium. It should. Why are you not making anything? So it should make Lumium. Not sure why. Well, let's see. We're going to ask it to make uh, Lumium. So let's say if I ask to make 10. It has everything it needs, so I'm really not sure why it's not doing it. And now I'm pretty sure if we go up top after it made, it makes uh, the things. Yeah, this thing just started and it's making the stuff and the things. So I'm really not sure why this is not working. Uh, it might be a little bit too complex for the system. But yeah, all of these, like they have crazy recipes in there just for them to start working but and there's an issue so i might look into remaking these uh, i'm not sure exactly what i'm gonna do but i thought we could start by uh, you know making some crafting cpus <laughs> just a little bit uh the only reason we're making that many is because it needs to match the other side so uh, that's what we're doing so let's see i think i calculated exactly the amount that we need I do hope that it did this right. Uh, I also removed all the machines here and I've upgraded one machine that we will need to use just after. So let's grab the wand and let's do this. So we need to do two on each. So that means that we're gonna be able to craft a little bit of things. That should be fine. Uh, if we need a bigger CPU, we're just gonna be able to make one somewhere else, or maybe like in the middle over there, and just make like a giant one for giant recipes. But I do, oh, seriously? Oh yeah, I forgot, there's six here. I, w I was waiting because I can't craft anything if I don't have anything connected, which at the moment I don't. So, all right, let's do, there we go. And I've got also 56 more of these. 
that are going to go on top. So pretty much just wanted to uh, replicate what we have on the other side. I'm going to put the slope eventually. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with but it's going to be something we need to do. Uh, all right, so let's do this. Okay. So let's put that there. That's awesome. And there we go. Except the fact that like none of them are connected, but that's kind of normal. I was kind of waiting to pass the cable here. And what I do is the same thing as the other side again. And it's simply passing a cable all the way there. And then there's one that's going to go all the way there. Uh, I do need to automate this here. This is to make the tungsten. Uh, it's something I haven't automated yet. Uh, it's pretty easy. It's just making the machine and doing it. So that should be quite simple. Uh, but today I kind of want to make something that we haven't made. And it is to make the minor tier 2. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's true. It starts here. So yeah, pretty much after this, uh, I think you could just do this. And I'll just connect a couple of them just <laughs> to make sure that we can craft things. So we just do this. There we go. And then we connect it. There we go. Uh, I've been getting like those lags when I connect things to the system. I think it's kind of normal. I think we might have a little bit of too many things on the system. Uh, maybe we should do like a sub networks, uh, a little bit like I'm doing over here. Uh, if we go behind, uh, wait, no, it's at the end over here. If we go here, we got like a sub network. So that means that this is the network containing the items. And when we have stuff that use it, well, we just stick a storage bus onto the interface and then it connects to the system. So I think this could be a thing. The only thing is nothing would be able to be crafted from here. Or we would need to use Ender Chest for everything, which kind of doesn't work for a bunch of these. Uh, I'm not sure if it's like the ME cables or if it's the Inder IO cables that are causing the lag, but like, check it out. Like, you see the time it takes? And it's not the server that's like having an issue. The server is well and everything's going great. Uh, but yeah, so it's kind of the issue every time I connect something. But yeah, so all right, we've got something connected. I'll do the rest uh, in a break. But over here, you can see I upgraded all of these machines to the new and improved IV, which is awesome. Uh, one thing that is sad, you can't, uh, this here, it doesn't freaking work with the blocking mode. I kind of hate machines that don't work with that. So that kind of means that like all the item goes in. So it's really a pain in my butt. The blocking mode normally will put one craft and then wait for this one to finish and then puts another one and then puts another one and then, you know, it waits, but it doesn't now. So kind of the big problem, but all right, let's go up top. So the thing that I want to do is make the tier two. So the tier two is this one here. Uh, as you can see, there's a bunch of things that we need to do. And I thought maybe we could automate this thing. So there's a bunch of things we need for this, but I think it's extreme crafting. No, it's not extreme crafting. Uh, let's do craft thing. There we go. So what it's called extended crafting wasn't too far. Wasn't too far. We need the automation interface. So if we go over here and we try to make one of these, yeah, there's a bunch of things that are missing. I was kind of thinking there would. So maybe like, let's get two of those made. And of course that means we need some of those. One, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah. The one at the top needs this and bam. Wait, that wasn't it. Oh, wait, we're, we're making, oh, these are different. Crystal timing it. What? Oh, that's kind of easy. Nether star. I don't have any. 
Okay, well, I can go kill a couple of withers. <laughs> or we could just make the recipe for one of these, as this is kind of a joke. So we can do dust. And... Oh, yeah, it's true, I removed them from here because I only needed them for the mana dust first. So, alright, I guess there's a couple of things I need to do. Let me just make those, I'll bring guys back for when we can actually automate this thing. Well, let's just say, again, I went a little bit preemptively into what I was trying to make. Because I did not see all the blocks you needed to make this. Osmiridium. Yeah, we don't have that one. We don't have that so far. But I did make some crystal tine ingots. I guess they're gonna be useful for something eventually. And uh, of course we need to duplicate this. If you don't know, you can just do that. Uh, it's quite easy to make because bam, we've got 64. And let's put one next to uh, this one over here. Oh, by the way, if, if you don't know, Farming Wither is like a joke, especially with this sword, if you get Vorpal, sometimes you can just like one-shot the Wither. <laughs> so it's pretty easy. But alright, so we were gonna make this, and the reason I was trying to automate this is just so we can ask for it. But I guess what we can do is a crate, like, I don't know, we're just gonna put it here for the moment. Uh, maybe like, I don't know, we're gonna put it here and then like I'm gonna break this and just connect it with an interface. But, it, as you can see, it needs more items than it can fit. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, wait, eight, wait, one, two, let, let's just go here and let's just do this. Yeah, okay, so <laughs> maybe, maybe we, we need uh, to do this, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, it fits into one pattern, so that's pretty good, but we do need to make like these titanium stuff. So I don't have the titanium plates thingy, uh, I do think it goes into a compressor, so we need one of those. Please let me, tell me that I've got space. Yeah, I kind of ran out of space for these. <laughs> I really ran out of space for these. So I guess I kind of need to add one freaking more of these. I don't even remember. I think this one, the yellow one is the, the compressor. Yeah, yellow one is the compressor. So I need to make one more with one more that is named Greg Tech Compressor. Oh man, these, there's so many of them. So let's do interface, I should have a lot. Yeah, let's turn it into a small one. Uh, some people said that there's other ways to rename stuff. I just use the anvil because I've got infinite amount of, uh, of experience and you can get experience by just right clicking these. Okay, and we're gonna need an ender chest. Do I have any? I've got one. Yay! Yeah, I don't have I don't have any more ender chest. So, uh, it was black and yellow, black and yellow. Oh my god, I'm old. <laughs> it's not that old, right? I think that song, black and yellow. I don't know. I also need a diamond. Why didn't I put a diamond? And boop, diamond here. There we go. So everything opened. Uh, let's grab one cable, let's put it like right here, it'll take a while to connect. Uh, this thing needs to be renamed into uh, Grectech Compressor. There we go. Bam. And then we're gonna put that there. So, now... We should have the place to put uh, that in there. Yay, more space! Alright, so we got this one. Uh, so we're gonna ask it to make... Uh, I think we need... Six, so... Start. So it's gonna make the six that we need. After this, we need this, which I think I've already got. Thermal... 
Yeah, so make one. Oh, it needs the micro miner engine frame. Okay, why are they renamed? <laughs> I didn't even know they were renamed. Okay, the frame is just this. So it's quite easy to craft. Uh, this one, a oh, bam. So I think we should have everything. Okay, so let's put that one into my 400 inscribers. Yay! And then we're gonna make uh, uh, this one. Next, start. Perfect. Uh, we're gonna need this, which is why I was hoping that these things would just make themselves. Uh, all right, let's do this and let's do that. Perfect. And we're gonna place it. I think I might have one already. Yeah, these. These two we have, plus the sensor. Now let's put those things up there. All right. Uh, the fuel generators as well, we do have it. So let's put it on the same line. And then, well, we can simply do the, the advanced diesel generator. I guess there's a couple of things here that are gonna need to be crafted because I'm pretty sure we don't have those automated. Uh, so let's get here. I've got these, so that's good. And let's put those like, oh, that, that one we have. Let's do this, let's do that, let's do that. And let's see, uh, diesel. I'm not sure we're gonna have everything. Yeah, we're making magnetic steel rod. I don't have a polarizer automated. That is one of the things that we do need to automate as well. For the moment, we're simply going to make some. So let's just do steel, steel rods. And I think I've got a polar, polarizer here. All right, perfect. Uh, I think it's gonna put them in my chest that I have right over there. Maybe not. It should have. <laughs> okay. Oh, I forgot to click this. So it would not have uh, sent the item properly. Okay. So we've got a couple of those. So let's try this again. So the thing we were trying to do is the diesel engine. All right, next. And there we go. So we can make one. Perfect. We've got that one made. Now we need these electrical crappy things. So yeah, there's a bunch of things that we don't have. So we need to automate this. That means that I'm gonna have to make also an autoclave that has this, which we don't have. And, uh, wow, I love when uh, Windows pop uh, automate uh, upgrade for your systems. All right, so let's put those again in there. Uh, so this here and that there. Let's see if we can do it. So Ender IO. Uh, when I do, when you don't know the name, you you put the name of the mod, and normally it's supposed to show up. I don't know why it's not doing it. Maybe because it's simply Jetpack. Okay. So next, yeah, we're missing the pulsating crystal. All right. Let me make one of these machine to automate. Maybe I'll do the pulver polarizer as well. I could make another pillar and just start piling like, I don't know, five polarizer and five uh, autoclave with different liquid in them. I think uh, that may be a good idea. I don't think I've got any of those. Yeah, that's a lab, that's a wire mill, it's a compressor, and it's a blend of matic So yeah, let me do that. That's gonna be a good thing to have. All right, I think there's a couple of things to talk about uh, right now. Um, so I figured out why nothing was working on the other side. The last thing we did on the stream after installing everything like this is we got ourselves the wireless crafting terminal. So currently, oh yeah, I kind of removed my thing. Yeah, so that's the thing I'm going to talk about. So the thing that broke my other side because it's on the sub network was the wireless secure uh, the me security terminal and luckily i went on the forum that was saying that 
For all the subnetwork to work, you just need to put an empty biometric card into your secret ter security terminal and it's going to make your subnetwork work. And what happened when I did this? Well, lights came on. <laughs> so that means that now these things are being crafted. As you can see, we got now 102. Uh, this thing, there's eight probably going to be used in some other ways. But that means that these things are going to work. But that also means that now we've making a little bit of pulsating iron. So this is awesome. Uh, is it using this one first? Yes. So I think it can fix this thing here. Uh, no, no, no. You're at the minus like 3,000. Uh, I even like tried cables, I tried everything, like nothing wanted to work. I even, even placed these chunk loader everywhere because I thought maybe it's the chunk loading. But no, I thought about it after that and I was like, maybe it's the terminal. So I just looked online and found it. But yeah, so if you're getting the same issue, just put an empty biometric card into your security terminal and you're going to be good. But with this being said and everything, I was trying to make the, uh, yeah, this is just a try. Let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, I was trying to make polarizer and turns out you can only do them EV and up. So, well, over here, we've got a little bit set up for EV. And over here, we've got five autoclave with like some uh, liquid because it's the only way I found it to be like pretty easy to output liquid without like having to use like more A cables and having three sides being used and like these kind of things. So this is the way I'm doing it. I'm putting some liquid in here and then I've got uh, different colors going to different machine. And the thing is, we're gonna need like one for this one, one for vibrant, one for water, one for redstone, destabilized redstone and one for like radon or something, I'm not sure exactly. But that means that I do have the recipe, you're not the one I'm looking for, to make the electrical steel. So electrical, let's try this, one, two, three. Next, we can do it, perfect. So I'm kind of thinking we have everything we need. We can craft it. So now we can do field generator. All right, so we're doing the LV. Let's make two. Next, start. All right, so field. We've got two. All right. Titanium. We've got six. Uh, there's the micro miner. <laughs> I don't know why the name was changed, but it's kind of cool. All right, we need basic. Oh, we need one of those. Start. We need some basic. Things like this, so basic there, and one of these. And we need the diesel and the stainless. This one I don't have a recipe for, so I guess we need to make it. Of course, you don't, you're not on the correct one. What? <laughs> okay, I've already done these. I'm pretty sure. I'm I'm not 100% certain, but I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's put this over here. Oh, turns out I already had a, like a couple of recipe that I already had. Okay, uh, so we need the stainless chest. Next, start stainless. Perfect. We've got this. Do we have everything? The diesel engine. Uh, there it is. Okay. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I did count eight last time. Did I count correctly or did I count wrong? Oh yeah, we're missing the electrical steel uh, three stealers. Okay. So what we're going to be able to do is do go into this pattern, go three of these, one of these, one of these, one of these. Two of these, one of these, six of these, and two of these is going to give us something. But since we don't have it yet, we're going to need to come here. Uh, yeah, to come here and do this to make the first tier two that we can. 
And then we're going to be able to come here and say, you make that. <sighs> and then uh, this pattern will be sent into this chest because, well, I can't automate this yet. So if we get uh, an interface, perfect. All right. Like a thaw. We're going to grab this. Uh, we're going to make a hole because I can't place it right there. We're going to hide it and we're going to put uh, right that in there. Let's grab some of these cables and pass one cable there and one cable right there. Perfect. So now this is going to be where these are going to go. So if we say minor and we ask it to make two, I don't know if I got a material. Turns out I do. Start. So now, of course, there are like a little bit of things to craft. Hey, is this thing going to craft? I didn't test if like the, the, the machines was working. Yeah, seems to work. Yeah, it works. Nice. Awesome. All right. It needs to do all the things. Perfect. It's crafting these. Okay, so now we've got those over here, so we can grab this, go to this one, and then do bam, we've got two. And then of course, well, the, the last thing that you need to kind of do is put it back into the system or else it's just gonna use your crafting and it won't finish. So that's the only thing, but it allows you to craft a bunch at a time without having to make manually each of the items. So for the moment, that is going to be the way we're going to do this. But let's check out this one, what it needs. So it's need two of these and one of these plus 12,000. So let's go see how this thing works. Do I have 12,000? I've got uh, 1.2 million. I've got this. So we can put that there. Is it going to work? And there we go. It should be working. It's progressing towards the tier two. Come on, come on. You can do it. I know you can. I believe in you, small microverse projector. <laughs> and, oh yeah, if you, if you don't know, I've got a little bit of stuff that we should process. It is one thing we need to do. We need to do a process line. I haven't done it. Oh, there we go. We're receiving the things. The copper, the shelite, the tongue state, the radium, which is the thing that we're looking for to do radon and to be able to do like quantum stars and things like that, which are going to be useful for the moment. It's probably going to be used uh, to make things like qubit CPU wafers as they are needed to make easier tiers of other stuff and also quantum eyes which can be used again to make a better items and like a better way and you also need them for the qubit so oh you also need gallium arsenide arsenic and gallium gallium i think we have arsenic is another story Realgar, Ergonard. Um, okay, is it like a recipe that you get from something else? The block is just this, this one is just that. Hmm. Okay. Uh, cobaltite. Okay, I guess that's the one that you need to do. So the cobaltite to the electrolyzer to get the arsenic. I'm pretty sure this one is easy if I remember correctly. Uh, is it like possible for me to buy it? <laughs> that would be nice if it is. Okay, let's do cobalt tight, tight. And you just click on all of them. And no, it's not possible to buy it. So it comes from cobalt. Okay, so you get cobalt which I do believe cobalt you can buy. Uh, yeah, you can, but it's a little bit expensive. But then you need to pulverize it to get the chance to get more cobalt. 
Then when you use this one, uh, do you need to treat it? Uh, oh wait, that's cobaltite. Cobaltite. Wait, why are we at cobaltite? Oh, turns out the one you can get is cobaltite. Why wasn't I able to get it earlier? But yeah, so we can get cobaltite and just treat it and we're gonna cobalt in return as well. And then we can just get more cobaltite and get cobaltite and then cobaltite. The only thing though is we really need to set up a place to treat all these uh, all these materials. And I do think that it should be in the next episode. The only thing is, is I do hope that our power situation is going to be enough. Which it should, because we've got all this, which is a 1,720,000 1, RF a tick. So it should be fine. I do know that the other one is going to take uh, quite some power. So we're going to have to look into it. But guys, I'm pretty happy. I got what I wanted for this episode. Now we can like craft those. Let's let's put the two other ones. Uh, just just go. Okay, just do it manually. Uh, let's do tier two. All right. Uh, let, let's see one thing. Can I do ten? No, you can't. Because you need the gear. Okay, but I should have that. Aluminum gear. Uh, no, not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. And there we go. So now we should put that in the gear section of our beautiful things. Oh, it's full. <laughs> Dang it! Another one that's full. Um, I guess we're going to remove this one for now and put that one there. <laughs> and there we go. We're going to do tier two again. Uh, and do 10 and start so all right guys uh, that is going to be it for today i do hope you enjoyed this episode if you did don't forget to leave a like if you really loved it don't forget to subscribe and i will see you next time bye bye and don't forget to brush your teeth